So very good day to you and uh, welcome to this video. We're gonna learn today how to convert your Google Form responses that your students have keyed in into your Google Form that you've created for any assignment and take their responses uh, and uh, make it into individualized uh, documents so that you can mark or grade these documents especially if you have a tablet and a stylus and you can work within the Microsoft Word environment and use the ink function so that you can grade them and uh, return these documents back to your students uh, after you've marked them. So what we're going to do first is we're going to start by opening up the Google form that you've created here. Right, so let's assume that this is the Google form you've created and uh, the students have given you the responses and if you look to the right of the word questions up here, you will see responses. Let's click on them. What you will see is you will get statistics, uh, who have responded, the, which classes have responded and so on. Um, so what you need to do now is you need to uh, export this. Look at this. But on the right side, uh, in the top, you'll see an icon uh, that shows uh, view responses in sheets. So you click on them. And what this will do is this will create an Excel sheet okay, or a Google sheet of the responses that they've uh, given to you from uh, typing into your Google form. Um, what you need to do now is to download this, go to file, download um, into a Microsoft Excel file. So you'll see that file being formed at the bottom left of your, con uh, of your screen and open the folder, show it in the folder. There you will have uh, your file. I've done this before so you can see it's uh, different name, uh, maybe it doesn't have the same ending. So you need to know where this, uh, the location of this file is, is in the downloads folder uh, for later on when you are going to uh, merge your documents. Um, at this point, um, actually done, I've done this video before, but what I realized is there is a problem with uh, the field title. So I think you need to open the Excel file now. And enable for editing. Now what you'll see is at the top you'll have the titles for each each field. So the problem is this two titles for the questions are is too long. So what you need to do is just uh, change them, just delete this whole thing and put them as paragraph one. Give them a shorter name, right? So because this will help you later when you choose the fields. And this one is paragraph two. Because I've made them, uh, what I've made them do is I've made them uh, write two paragraphs for a question about a poem, right, that we've studied together. Okay, so you need to do this, make the titles shorter because what will happen is you'll get into an error when the titles are too long and the, the field names cannot be too long. Right, so you save this, so you can use this for later, close this document. And what you need to do now is you need to open up your Microsoft Word. This is the environment in which we are going to do the merge. Open Word. Okay, open a blank document. The first thing you need to do is, of course, go to the top menu item that says Mailings. Okay, you will see Start Mail Merge. Click on this and find normal Word document. Now this, what this does is, it activates the macro. The macro is a tiny program that does uh, mail merge. Okay, the next step you need to do is, in this environment, select recipients and use an existing list. Okay, can you see that? Now you need to find the document that you downloaded just now. Okay, and this is the one at the top here. Open that and click OK. So the uh, data has been loaded into Microsoft Word. What you need to do now is uh, set up the template for the different individual responses that the students are going to give. So what we do now is we type normally, like in a worksheet, the name. So we need to input, put in the students' names here. Go to Insert Merge Field. You will see the field called Name. Insert it in there. Close this. Okay, put some space in between this and next field, which is the index number. So you uh, type in uh, open brackets, insert the index number, field in there, close it, close uh, the bracket. Okay, now you need to type in the class. Okay, insert the class field in there. 
Alright, we've got two more fields to go. Let's uh, press enter a few times and type paragraph 1 here, colon. Okay, and then insert the field for paragraph 1. Close that. Okay, leave some space between the two. Type paragraph 2. Now, of course, you don't have to do this. You, you can just have the two paragraphs without the subheadings, but um, I think it's a bit more neater for me to do that. Insert the last field, which is paragraph 2. Okay, now, th this is not the end. What you need to do now is I find that I need to uh, change the format uh, of the, or rather the layout of the document uh, before I can mark it comfortably. So I want to uh, change the font size and the spacing. Select okay, all this on the document. Go to home. And I like the fonts to be slightly bigger. Calibri is fine. It's quite uh, comfortable to mark in Calibri. Change it to 14 points. Go to paragraph function and uh, change this to zero both before and after spacing. But change this spacing line spacing to one and a half lines. That will give you some space for you to write your comments or your your marks. Now I, I like to fully justify all the documents that I mark. So choose under justification. Okay, justify. Okay, then this is the part where it's quite exciting. Um, you go back to mailings and click on the last button here now choose this one edit individual documents and before you say click OK what I had was I had um, about 26 students who responded okay so what you need to do is you need to select line 1 2 26 okay and then there you have it. You have all the responses uh, very neatly laid out for you in individual documents, right? Although, so you can actually see the volume of the writing, right? The typing, who has submitted really short work or who has submitted really, you know, quite substantial amount of writing. Okay, so there you have it. Um, after you get this document, what you can do is you can print it out, okay, and you can mark it on hard copy, right? Or you can use uh, a tablet like this, okay? This is what we've been given uh, from some of us, and we use this together with the stylus, right? So we load all these documents into our tablet, and uh, we can uh, go on to mark using the Microsoft Word environment and the ink function, right? So I hope you've learned something today. If you like the video, press like okay, and share the video with any of your friends who are doing home-based learning or teaching with ICT. So uh, this is Said saying goodbye.